By now you have heard those big pops and bangs and saw the smoke towering as tall as skyscrapers. But what remains hidden tonight is the possible impact of the environment and people living around this Afton chemical plant. This is the night of the Manor chemical plant fire. This is thermal imaging from a fire department drone showing how firefighters decided where and how they should attack this dangerous inferno. In the last hour, News 4 got documents de uh, detailing a lot of problems at the Higgy Road plant, and our Jenna Ray is detailing that information for us tonight live from Afton. Sam and Corey, since 2017, the state has cited multiple violations at this plant behind me. We're learning today that the Environmental Protection Agency has actually been involved for several years now. It's been a years long investigation into chemical leaks and bad equipment. We've been told from the Missouri Department of Natural Resources that no hazardous material was inside the building that exploded yesterday. However, it's still unclear if any of those violations played a role. It sounded like barrels were going off like, you know, almost like firecrackers. As a probe grows into Thursday's blast, which sent employees, firefighters and neighborhoods scrambling. News 4 is learning there have been problems at Manor Chemicals since at least 2017. New documents from the state highlight violations. Inspectors found gear in poor conditions being stored in the open. Containers throughout the facility leaking, tanks and pipes in poor condition, and elevated levels of chemicals in the ground. A letter from the state to Manor Chemicals actually says the site had so many issues it warranted entry onto the government's Superfund site list to investigate further because of potential releases of hazardous substances. The Missouri Department of Natural Resources tells us that they've been working with the chemical plant behind me for years to try and clean up this hazardous waste and fix material inside the facility. I'm told that they're also still working with them to this day. I spoke with an EPA spokesperson on the phone today, and he says that both state and federal agencies, again, are working on this cleanup. They've also continued to test water and soil at the facility. Right now, we're requesting more documentation for you to learn more about exactly exactly what these violations mean and what's going to happen moving forward. Reporting to you live in South County tonight, Jenna Ray, News 4.